Hi guys, good morning. Welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for Virgo. Let's see what's coming towards Virgo. Let's see what Spirit has to say to us today. All right, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us, the goddesses that gives us our strength, and the angels that protect us. Show us what we need to see for Virgo. Guys, I do want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all your subscribes. They're all so greatly appreciated, okay? If you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages. I do want to thank all my subscribers for joining me on this journey. And if you're new, welcome. All right. All right, Holy Spirit. This is for Virgo. just wanted to pop out patience okay bottom of the deck you got this yesterday there's something that there's some there's something that you're needing to take action for action towards are there something coming towards you for some of you guys you definitely need to take care of your health you need to change what you're eating you need to, you need to do better with your eating habits that's what I'm getting here I have nourishment Normally when I get that card, that means that someone here needs to take better care of their health. They need to watch what they're eating. They're consuming too, mi too much sugar, too much salt, too much carbs, not exercising. There's something unexpected coming your way that's going to change your life. Mm. Yeah, you don't see this coming. There's something very unexpected coming. And you're thinking it's something bad because nothing has happened thus far, but it's not. It's going to provide a lot of growth. It's definitely going to provide you with a lot of growth. Okay. First out, release. So you have finally decided to release something from your energy. You have finally decided to release a connection. I'm definitely getting that here in the energy. You, you finally took back your power and you released something that was not serving you any justice. That's what I'm getting here in the energy. But I do feel that you're attracting something new. There's something new that you're attracting. And I am seeing that your angels are going to protect you along this journey. You have a lot of protection around you. I'm also getting you have some family and friends that will protect you if needed. In some type of I'm getting a feeling like something is going to happen but you're going to be protected and I feel like someone that someone's going to step in. I'm feeling a family or a friend that's going to step in to protect you. For uh, that message is meant for someone. And then we have patience. Everything happens in divine timing. Spirit is saying that in due time, everything you have manifested will come to fruition. That's what I'm getting here in the energy. All right, Holy Spirit. Show me what we need to see for Virgo. I, I am getting in your energy though that you finally took back your power and you released something or someone. You're starting on a new journey right now. You're attracting a lot of blessings. You're definitely attracting a lot of blessings. They're coming your way. I know we've been saying that for a while, but I want you guys to be thankful for where you are, for what you have now. So God will know that you are very appreciative and he will bless you with so much more. So much more. Show me Holy Spirit. Show me what we need to see for Virgo. Oh, 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 okay. So, <laughs> wasn't expecting all of that. But we're going to take them nonetheless. Okay. So first... We have karmic relationships. Hmm. 
So I'm getting in the energy that some of you guys, you're just coming out of a connection. You're coming out of a karmic connection. The connection that you that just exited your life. The, the person that you just walked away this this was a karmic situation this person whatever whoever this was they were brought into your life to teach you a lesson it might have been a hard lesson i'm definitely getting in the energy it wasn't an easy lesson but they were definitely brought into your life to teach you a life lesson that's what i'm getting here and then we have the seeds of mintaka there's a lot of potential that you're attracting. A lot of potential. It says bringing unconsciousness to light. Okay. So it's bringing what is behind inside your mind to light. It's allowing you to see things for what they truly are. There's no more fooling you. You know, you have learned some very valuable lessons along this journey. So there is no more fooling you. There may be people that we will never say that in this lifetime moving forward that there is not going to be someone here that's not going to come into your energy and they're going to test your gangster there's going to always be that person but you've learned some very valuable lessons your soul has grown significantly you have learned the skills needed to be able to release what does not serve you and to walk away you're attracting abundance you're attracting happiness you know why because it's your strength you have grown from the inside out so you're no longer fooled by people's nonsense people's trickery because let me tell you people are going to come across and they're going to be very charming very sweet very delightful but th th you you will see past that facade because you know why because you've learned you've learned some very valuable lessons and the and spirit is saying that they see so much potential in your future there's so much potential in your future but don't forget you're protected by your angels you're protected by the divine and you know why it's because you guys you've been tested and you've passed the test you have then we have messenger bringing harmony and balance back into your life see that harmony and balance is where you're going all that foolishness from the past, we're going to leave that in the past. We're moving forward towards our harmony, towards our blessings, towards the balance that we need in our life. Because you know what? We're just about tired. Aren't you tired? You're tired of people's foolishness. You're tired of being second best. And when I say that, that's the way people feel. That's the way they make you feel. But that's not who you are. That's not who you are at all. But what that tells you is that they didn't know your value. So that's why spirit had to take them from you. That's why the divine had to step in, protect you from this. Like you have, you ever, you got this feeling like for the last few months, the last year, let's do the last year. You had this uneasy feeling. You knew that there was something more in this lifetime. You knew that you weren't getting your full fulfillment in a relationship, in a connection, in a job. You made a decision to, to, to stand by something, but it wasn't what the divine wanted for you. you. It wasn't meant to stay in your life. It was meant to come into your life to teach you a very valuable lesson. Because, you know, for some of you guys, you needed to be taught that lesson. Why? Because your ego was just a little too big. That message is meant for someone, not every one. We have the golden children. Tenderness, rare gifts. That's who you are. That's who you are. You're rare. You have rare gifts. The one thing that I can say about a Virgo is that a Virgo, in, out of all the signs, they have so much potential to do anything they put their mind to. That's the one true blessing in it all. If you say that you're going to do something, you will do it. That's one thing about a Virgo. Excuse me. Then we have big picture thinking visionary inspired ideas that's where your focus is at that is where your focus is at you have bigger things on your mind i don't i'm not getting in the energy that you're even worrying about a relationship 
I'm not even getting that in the energy. What I'm getting here is that you have bigger things on your mind. Like, you know how they say that bigger fish to fry? Because I see you going towards your abundance. I see you not wanting to work a nine to five. I see you wanting to start a business and you want to put the energy in it. You know what I'm getting? I'm getting someone that has started something so many times, but they get deterred by a relationship because relationships take work. They do take work, but I feel like that has, a, that has caused you to limit yourself, but not anymore. Not anymore because you know your value, you know where you want to be and you have learned a lesson in the fact that trying to please others don't get you where you want to go. It actually pushes you backwards. It's like a feeling of starting all over again once things are all said and done. But you've learned that lesson. You see now. That's what I'm getting here in this energy. You're not for everyone. Embrace your weirdness. Face your true north. You're not for everyone. Not everyone's going to understand how you think, how you move. Not everyone's going to see the value. You're not for everyone and that's okay because everyone is not for you. That is okay. Breath of the cosmos. My will to thy will. Micromanaging the universe. See that? That's why spirit is saying that you need to be patient. There is no micromanaging the universe. Everything happens in divine timing. It's not your time. It's the divine's time. All you have to do is be faithful and practice patience. And then we have your life as a canvas, manifestation, creative accountability. Look at that. You're manifesting. You're going to be creating something wonderful for yourself. This life this life that you are, you've manifested for yourself, it's coming to fruition. In due time, it's coming. Oh, and let me tell you, you're not even going to understand it. You're not even going to be able to understand yourself. Nobody going to be able to do nothing with you. <laughs> and when I say that, nobody's going to be able to do nothing with you. It's, it's going to be so sweet. It's going to be so sweet and so deserving. So sweet, so deserving. Virgos, we've all been through a lot. Let me tell you, last year was rough. We came into this new year rough. It's been rough. It's been it's been rough for Virgos. It's it's been rough for all signs. But let me tell you, I feel like Virgos have been hit even more. You know why? Because we're so genuine. We're always looking out for someone else. But the one thing that we have learned this year is that it's time for us to look out for ourselves because nobody else is going to do it for us. You know, and people, they, they, they just use and abuse and they just take, take, take. But the one thing I can say is that we've learned a lesson from it. We've definitely learned a lesson from it. We've got some additional skill sets from it. I feel like, you know, moving forward, Virgos, you're going to be unstoppable, unstoppable. And you have you, you have discernment. God has gifted you with discernment because you've been through so much. You've learned so many lessons. You see, God has opened your eyes. The divine, whoever you believe in, they have truly come and opened your eyes. They have shaken you straight, shaken you out of this dream, shaken you out of this nightmare. So you see things so much more clearer now. Holy Spirit, this is for Virgo. Hmm. As I say that, just fell off the turnip truck. Naive inexperience gullibility obliviousness see that came out actually in, in the reverse because this is who you were you were very naive very gullible you were inexperienced but i bet you, you experience now i bet you, you know now see that guys some of you guys need to go back to school some of you guys need to learn a skill set some of you guys have I'm definitely getting in the energy. Let me know in the comments. Okay, if you've gone back to school, let me know what you've gone back to school for. Let's talk about it. Because I'm seeing that for some of you guys, you need to go back to school and study something, something that's going to bring value to your life. For some of you guys, you have. And congratulations on that move. Show me Holy Spirit. Sweet as Georgia peach, kindness, tender care, charm, beauty, flirtation, delicious experience. I feel like this is someone that you have walked away from. I feel like someone came into your life and they were very tempting. They were very good looking. Sex was even good. 
This person was very charming. This person was very beautiful. This person was a delicious experience. But you know what I'm getting from this? I'm actually getting in the feeling this might have been someone that you have been wanting for the longest time. And when you finally got them, they weren't even worth your time. That's what I'm getting here in this energy. When you finally got this person, sweet as Georgia Peach, that's what you thought. That's exactly what you thought. But that person was not. I'm getting this in this energy. That person was not. Show me Holy Spirit. It's, I'll get around to it. Spirit is saying, what's the rush? Waiting, inspired, action only, trust, relax to allow the flow. There's someone here that is not taking action. There's someone here that has some type of creative idea. There's someone here that wants to start that new business. There's someone here that wants to go back to school. There's someone here that wants to do something and they are limiting their self and they are not taking action. It's time. There's no waiting. There is no more waiting. It is time. There is no more waiting. God has protected you. The divine has protected you. Your angels have protected you from harm. You've been protected. You have learned lessons. Now it's time for you to move forward. Now it's time for you to show the world what you got. That's what I'm seeing here. Show me Holy Spirit. It says it's blowing up a storm. Sh strong momentum. Sudden change. Necessary shakeup transformation and hope you now have hope for the future you're going through a transformation you have gone through a transformation and let me tell you it was it was sudden it was immersed if you were immersed in it it was it was a tough lesson it shook up your world it definitely shook up your world but now there's hope here Look at this rainbow in this storm. There's some beauty coming into your life. There's some success coming into your life. There's love coming into your life. You have transformed. You have changed. Spirit says, well, that just deals my pickle. It says total contentment, success, wishes granted. Some of you guys are going to be mastering a skill set. I've been seeing that you're going to be mastering a skill set. I'm definitely getting some of you guys. You may be on a spiritual journey as we as we all are. Some of you guys, you're going to be going back to school. Some of you guys, there's total contentment coming into your life. You're going to be so content. You're going to be so happy. For some of you guys, there, there's something that you're dealing with right now. And spirit is saying that you're going to have a joyous resolution. That message is meant for someone. Let's get into this, guys. Holy Spirit, show me. Show me what I need to see. For Virgo. Show me. Show me what I need to see. For Virgo. Guys, I hope, I hope and I pray that you are taking care of yourself. You have learned lessons. You see your self-worth. I hope you're showing yourself self-love. Look, let me tell you something. If you can't do it, no, how, how can you expect someone else to do it? You have to show someone how to treat you. And when I say that, I'm talking about your boss. I'm talking about your parents. I'm talking about your children. I'm talking about your love partner. I'm talking about your friends. I'm talking about the person that you run into in the grocery store. You have to show them how to treat you. They have to be willing and able to show you some respect. You've learned, look, you've been through enough. You're not taking other people's bull anymore. You've been through enough. Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. There's someone coming into your energy. There is someone coming into your energy and spirit is saying for you to pay attention to the red flags. 
Use your discernment. You've learned lessons already. You see. There's, I'm definitely getting here. There's someone that's going to be coming into your energy. And we're going to see what, who this is. For some of you guys, you're going to be getting engaged. For some of you guys, you're going to be getting engaged. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. If you've been dating someone, and this is for the person that you've been dating someone and you've kind of been on and on again, off again, you, can't, you separated for some time, but you're back together. You're trying to work things out. You're going to be getting engaged soon. That person, you know why? Because you took a break from that person. You showed that person how to treat you. That person sees your worth now. Codependency. For some of you guys, there's someone in your energy. This person is addicted to you. This says addictions are affecting your romantic life. That person is addicted to you. And I feel like that is the problem. Whether it's you that are addicted to this person, I feel like, you know what? It's a, it's a codependency amongst the two of you. That's what I'm getting here. Spirit is saying, let go of control issues. Somebody here needs to let someone in. Allow the situation to unfold naturally is what it's saying. Somebody here needs to let someone in. There is someone here that is constantly, no matter, no matter what you tell that person, that person still comes back. That person still tries. That person may not be perfect. That message is meant for someone. This person is not perfect by far. But the one thing you can say, and you will know who I'm speaking to, the one, one thing you can say is that this person loves you unconditionally. I'm getting a feeling of this person kind of a little cuckoo for Cocoa Puffs. They're kind of a, a little obsessive over you. Kind of sometimes borderline, borderline unhealthy. I'm definitely getting that in the energy, but I'm getting that this person loves you unconditionally. But I'm definitely getting in the energy also that the way that you two are going about this connection is very unhealthy. I feel like you may want to seek some seek therapy, probably couples therapy. And that's what I'm getting in the energy. And then we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. There's some of you that have already freed yourself, but there's somebody here in this energy that has not. There's somebody here that is still struggling. There's somebody, as I'm saying this, my eardrums are like closed shut. It's almost like I'm hearing an echo in my voice. There's somebody here that is not taking back control. There's somebody here that's not taking, that has not taken back control of their life. They still, somebody else is still pulling their, pulling their strings. There's somebody here. Somebody else is still pulling your strings. All right, Holy Spirit. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. Show me. Show me what I need to see for Virgo. Okay. So we have pale time to get out of a situation. See that there's somebody here. It is time for you to get out of a situation. There are some of you, you've taken back control of your life. You've released what no longer serves you, but there is still someone here in this energy. This is a general reading guys. Take what resonates and leave behind what does not. But there's definitely someone here in this energy. You're still holding on to something. It's time for you to release it. But the thing about it is you still feel that pain. You still feel that pain. You have a pain in your soul. You know why you have that pain in your soul is because you're not releasing what no longer serves you. You know that you need to release it. You know you need to release it, but you're you're fighting the funk. Yeah. We have flag. Do not be tempted to lower your standards. Let's let's put this all the way in here. Don't be tempted to lower your standards. You've been there, done that already. You've done you've been there, done that already. We have grapes. Time to get out and have fun. It's time. We've entered Virgo season. It is time for you to take back your power. It is time for you to show the world who you are. I've already said that. It's time for you to get out and have some fun. You've been in hermit mode way too long. We have rooster, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. This is that person that's been watching you. That's what I'm getting here in this energy. There is someone here that is watching you. This person wants you, but this person does not mean you any good. No, they don't. This person does not mean you any good. This person, you may have blocked this person at some point in time, 
but this person is going to come back into your life and I'm getting this person is going to come back into your life under a false identity because this person wants in but this person wants what you got this person doesn't want you this person wants what you got and you know this you know who this person is that message is meant for someone not everyone and then we have rabbit too much concern with sexual matters there's someone here in your energy they have way too much concern with sexual matters this person is not looking for a commitment this person is not looking to say bae how can i help you you're not going to get this from that person that person's only worrying about what's between your legs that's all that's all this person is worrying about all right show me holy spirit show me happiness you have happiness coming your way you have the ultimate happiness coming your way you have to be patient you have to stand in your beliefs don't let nobody come in and steal your joy you have the ultimate happiness coming in you do you do all right holy spirit show me show me who virgo needs to pay attention to the red flags with who is this person that we need to pay attention to the red flags for virgo who is this person that we need to pay attention to the red flags show me holy spirit control releasing taking back power i couldn't have said it any better this is someone that has been controlling you for a long time they have been pulling your heartstrings they've been they have been playing you this person has been controlling you spirit is saying you need to release this is someone that you know if you haven't released this person already, you know you need to release this person and take back control of your power. They've been pulling you like they've been pulling you like a doll. You see that? You know exactly who this person is. This person has been controlling your emotions. This person that you spend too much time thinking about. And you have very little communication with this person. You know who this is. Show me who's engagement. Family so family some of you guys are going to be starting a family some of you guys may be getting engaged starting a family some of you guys could already have a kid with this person that you're going to be getting engaged with mm -hmm. open relationship okay well so some of you guys you and this person may have an open relationship it could have been something that was casual at one point in time but it's not anymore that might be why y'all might have separated for a bit that might have been the issue that at one point in time y'all had it was it was no commitment it was just fun it was casual but then somebody got serious and their feelings got involved and I feel like some of you guys you may have separated for a while but this person is coming back because this person wants a commitment. This person, I feel like you and this person are back together already. Let me know in the comments. I feel like you and this person, you're back together already, but this person's going to ask you to marry them. Show me codependency. Show me codependency. Blonde female, lighter hair, laid back. There's somebody here. I feel like this is one of you guys. You have light hair kind of keep it laid back this is somebody with light hair show me codependency ice king a boss entrepreneur detached okay so you know what i'm getting here the person that has been controlling this message is meant for someone. This person is a boss, an entrepreneur. This person financially takes care of you. But this person, they feel like because they do, they can control you. That's what I'm getting here in this energy. 
So there's a feeling of codependency because you may be younger than this person, but this person may have provided you with some type of financial, financial or material dependency. And that's why you feel this person feels that you're not going to go anywhere. That's how this person has been pulling and controlling you. This message is meant for someone because this person has been financially taking care of you. But you know what spirit is saying that you need to go back to school so you can take care of yourself. That message is meant for someone. For some of you guys, you need to you need you you are meant to be a boss. You are meant to be an entrepreneur. You need to take action. You need to take action. You're blocking your blessings here. Let go of control issues. Show me. Show me. Long distance, foreign themes and distance. For some of you guys, you may be in a connection with somebody long distance. Spirit is saying, stop trying to control it. I see a lot of aggravation. I'm, I'm feeling a lot of aggravation between you and this person. You're in a long distance relationship and somebody's nagging someone because somebody wants someone to make a move towards them. But the thing about it is you entered into this connection knowing this. Knowing this, if, if you're not in a connection right now, you may enter into a connection that is long distance. Spirit is saying to let go of control issues because that's the only way that that connection is going to work. And that connection could truly bring you some true happiness. That message is meant for someone, not everyone. Show me free yourself. Show me free yourself, Holy Spirit. Dating queen. Somebody needs to free themselves from somebody that they thought was more than they are. Let's see. So we got dating queen, opportunities, dates, and abundance. So I'm getting. For some of you guys, you need to free yourself from whatever no longer serves. You need to release your ex. That message is meant for someone. Because there's someone here that's coming in. This person's going to take you out a lot. This person's going to have a lot of money. This person is going to help you start a business. You may work with this person. For some of you guys, spirit is saying that you need to free yourself from somebody that you thought had more value than they actually do. That message is meant for some. That message is meant for someone, not everyone, not everyone. Holy Spirit, show me, show me what we need to see. For Virgo, show me, show me what we need to see. For Virgo, wow, that came out, but I didn't even say anything. All right, Holy Spirit, this is for Virgo. Show me what we need to see. Prayer. You need to pray, guys. You need to spend some time in prayer and meditation. It works wonders. It works wonders. Some of you guys will need to make a decision on where you're going to live. If you're going to live in the country or if you're going to live in, sit in the city. Yeah. Some of you guys will have to make a decision. Some of you guys may need to make a decision whether you're going to be leaving a job. I'm getting a feeling of a corporate job versus a hands-on job or like more like a passion project. Starting your own small business. That's what I'm getting here. Some of you guys are going to have to make that decision. We have soulmate. There's someone here that you may have thought this person was your soulmate and this person could very much so be your soulmate, but it's time to release that person because it came out in the reverse. It's time for you to let that person go while you may love them. You're on a new quest. You're on a new journey. This person is your past. This person is not your future. Show me Holy Spirit. Enlightenment. Your spirit guides, you're getting sp spiritual downloads right now. You're getting spiritual downloads right now. You know that there's something wonderful out there for you. Look at that. Something's done over with. It's time for you to release it. It's time. It's dead. It's gone. It's time for you to release it. There's an imbalance here. Somebody's being fake. And somebody is mad because you are living your best life right now. Somebody is mad. Guys, you have to take care of yourself. Focus on yourself. Please hit that like button so we can circulate. Somebody here, there's somebody here. If you, if there's nothing here that you can take from this, there is someone here that needs to hear this message. 
hit that like button if this resonates with you subscribe if you haven't share with your family and friends if there's someone that you know that needs to hear this message no matter what sign they are if there's someone that you know that needs to hear this message I ask that you share it because somebody needs to hear what spirit has to say somebody is going through something and there is something that they need to hear from somebody guys love you all until next time bye bye